Hello, my name is Art Small, a solution architect with Zero to Ten. Today we will be looking at the solution for CRM for CPG manufacturing, specializing for the CPG sector. Building upon the success of the CRM for manufacturing solution, we've added in components that are specific to the CPG sector. For example, we've added in order agreements, innovations, account products, order fulfillment, store visits with their affiliated objectives, and product authorizations. And we're using the success of certain other areas that are still impactful to CPG areas, including long-term forecasting, call reporting, share of wallet, and account planning processes. As always, Dynamic CRM can interface with back office products, such as ERP or social areas, and you can access CRM through Outlook, the web, and mobile devices. Let's go ahead and begin our demonstration on a dashboard. As always, dashboards are excellent ways for us to understand the health of the business, focusing on our various KPIs. For our CPG solution, we've included two out-of-the-box dashboards. The first dashboard begins with our product innovations. Product innovations is a way for us to be able to work on improving our existing products or creating new innovation products. We can see the AT&T and the Coca-Cola Corporation are spearheading the amount of revenue that we hope to be able to gain out of these current rounds of innovations. And we can see that David, Brian, and Kelly are heading up the innovations as the product managers. Authorizations is a great way for us to be able to tell what we're selling. The authorization process allows us to be able to allow customers to request for new products, show what products are being sold, i.e. those authorized, or to see what has been phased out for other products. As always, we can use the built-in capabilities of Dynamic CRM to be able to analyze further information. For example, in looking at the Xbox volume, we can see that we're selling these to the AT&T and Target corporations. Lastly, on this dashboard, we have our active promotions, whereby we can see our estimated versus actual revenues, and we can see for each individual product the amount of volume as well as expected uh, amounts of increased revenue through our promotions for these various products. Continuing to look at our dashboards, we can see additional information about product authorizations. For example, which accounts are using which products? we can see that Target is using five different products. And as always, we could then find out what products are being used by Target. We can look at our store visits, anything that's upcoming that we plan on discussing with our customers. And this goes into some more in-depth information that we'll show in a little bit later. Order fulfillments is the status of how we're doing in fulfilling on product requests. For example, we may have been unable to fulfill on products in certain time periods for various reasons, such as loss or damage, in insufficient inventory, or various other reasons. This will also show positive fulfillment numbers as well. On the right-hand side, we then proceed into our inventory sell-off. This is where we buy we can assist our Tier 1 customers in reallocating their inventory to other companies. For example, as a result of our product innovations, maybe they wish to purchase the latest versions of our products and sell those, and not sell current products they have in stock. So for example, we're assisting in reallocating Surface Pros and Surface RTs right now. We're in negotiation as well as in finalization of certain amounts. And then we can see who is selling the products and who is buying those products. Let's go ahead and continue our CPG review by looking at the details about one particular account, the AT&T company. As with all of our dashboards and with all of our forms, you'll notice a familiarity of the CPG solution between that and the normal uh, product of CRM. We've introduced onto the main page for the company, for the accounts, the connections field whereby we can see different companies that we may be working with, perhaps strategic partners, perhaps brokerage firms, or economic buyers. As traditional, 
we have our posts, activities, and notes in the center area. And then we have our contacts, opportunities, and cases along the right. Imagine, if you will, that CPG Manufacturing Account Rep is going to be meeting with Diane. He may wish to go and look at Diane's record and find that Diane uh, is presently a VP of Purchasing, and we've been conducting certain activities with Diane. It's also very helpful in a similar manner to have connections on screen so that we can see who Diane would be working with. Perhaps she's working with assistant buyers or other groups. It's also very good for us to know information about Diane of a personal nature and or her contact preferences. When we're going to visit Diane, such as with a store visit, it's often helpful to take a look at any notes that may be on file, so that if we know we need to meet with alternative parties, we can utilize CRM's native capabilities of hierarchy to be able to see alternative contacts that we may have for Diane, including any subordinates or any managers. Let's go and return to AT&T and see what else is different for the CPG solutions. As often, we have access to our insights so that we know what's happening from a public perspective around the company and we can be prepared for any phone calls with them. Account managers find uh, the orders and products quite helpful. We've talked about authorizations before, and in this way we can see all products that are authorized, i.e. what we're selling to the customer, products that are requested, i.e. products that either we're positioning to be sold at at and or the AT&T has requested from us, and anything that's been phased out as well. So for example, products that we used to sell to the AT&T Corporation that are no longer being purchased. The order fulfillment process is the periodic sending of products to the AT&T Corporation or other store. We can track it against particular orders. Of course, it's by time period, perhaps by weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever time period is appropriate and then we can see the volume versus delivery. This is very helpful for the account manager to know because it prepares them for any possible negative or even positive conversations with the uh, account representatives for AT&T. Promotions is the process whereby we are working with different regional areas or perhaps different uh, trade groups to try to highlight and sell additional product. This may tie into your traditional trade promotion management solutions as well. There's often ad dates, shipping dates tied to the particular promotion, additional costs to our company as a result, but increased revenue. We can tie this also to the actual revenues. Inventory sell-off as described is the process whereby we can try to help our customers who no longer want to sell our older products but yet move them over to Tier 2 or Tier 3 customers of the CPG manufacturer. There may be a negotiation process whereby we try to get that to a manageable price for that Tier 2 store, and then the movement of the inventory from the Tier 1 store tier to the Tier 2 or Tier 3 stores. Almost last is the store visits. Many CPG customers have processes whereby they physically need to go to inspect product, have conversations with their customers, or have other on-site uh, negotiations that take place. During the store visit process, you will have either one or more objectives and various follow-up activities that will need to occur either in-store or after the fact. Last but not least is the innovations process. As discussed before, this is around developing new product, whether it be an enhancement to an existing product or creating a new one altogether. It's very important for us to tie this into a very planned process and the product solution supports this. For this configurable approach, we've outlined whereby we could gather market input, develop the ideas for the products, have some sort of conceptual development process, present our development and perhaps prototypes to key customers, as it's important to have a solid customer base who will purchase the initial products, and then move into production. We can monitor important uh, activities of note, any general information, as well as understand who the project team is. 
Now let's go ahead and shift over to a mobile perspective to see the types of information that could be used while we're visiting stores. Here we see a tablet view of our upcoming store visit activities. We can see where we're going to be going over this next week, including Target, the Holiday Travel Corporation, and AT&T. As with any tablet device, by opening up, for example, an account, we can see the summary information about what's happening with the account, any relationships related to the account, as well as ongoing activities, contacts, opportunities, cases, forecast information, etc. Let's go ahead and focus on visiting the store. So this is what is happening while we're actually out in front with a customer. We have our objectives, for example, our quarterly review that we're going to be doing with them, a description of the overall store visit, as well as any next steps that might be happening. While we're in the store, we can use our notes to record additional information using our tablet's native capabilities. For example, while sitting in front of the customer, we can keep notes so that we have a full accounting of everything that needs to occur as a result of this conversation. Using the voice dictation capabilities of your tablet or smartphone will greatly speed up what you need to do with your store as well as streamline any follow-up activities. Thank you very much for reviewing the CPG for Manufacturing Overview and Demonstration of the Solution. We know your time is valuable and we hope that you found this of interest. Please feel free to reach out to your account executive or visit us at 0to10.com for more information. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.